Hi, my name is Melissa Daniels and I have strabismus. Strabismus is when your eyes are not pointing in the same direction. And over the last five years, I've worked really hard to get my eyes working together. And it has been a huge process and I have made it my life work to share everything that I learn with all of you. And the absolute best part of what I do is being able to connect with other people that have strabismus because it is such a unique experience that so many people do not understand. Um, people in your family, they might say like, oh, well, yeah, maybe your eye turns, but it's not that big of a deal. But they don't get the emotional and physical toll that that can play on a person. And so there's something so refreshing about connecting to other people dealing with the same struggles. So this video, I'm gonna go into a few different resources that you can use to connect with other people who have strabismus. There actually are options and we have a lot of fun. And before I jump into that, I wanted to make sure you know that you can go over to learn.strabismussolutions.com to see the different things that I offer. We've got courses and you can sign up for Zoom calls and downloads. So be sure to check that out. There's a lot there, especially if you have strabismus and you're just getting started on your journey and you're trying to figure out where to go next. There are a lot of different ways that you can connect with other people who have strabismus. One of my favorites is to read books that were written by people who have strabismus and have talked about it. Someone like Sue Berry is amazing because you really get to capture the entire essence of what it was like to live with that. Um, and you, you feel such a connection. And um, there's other options. There are several people who have written books about their um, vision therapy journey with strabismus and it's fascinating and just, it will really hit you right here. So I'll put a couple links for those in the um, comments below. One-Eyed Princess is another one. So anyways, I'll, I'll link to those in the description. Another option is different Facebook support groups. You've got some a lot of different options and each of them is a little bit different. You've got your straight strabismus support group that's very pro-surgery. You've got Vision Therapy Parents Unite. It is very anti-surgery and not really great for adults, I would say. Um, then you've got a lot in the middle. One of them that I love is looking forward with strabismus and basically it's an adult support group for people who have strabismus and just living with that and how to get through. So I definitely love that one. There's, and, and it's pretty active. People are commenting in there quite a bit. Um, another one is the like vision therapy for adults with strabismus group. Not tons of people are commenting in there, but it's a great one. So if that's something that describes where you're at, that would be a really fun one for you. So again, I will put links to these different Facebook groups in the comments. Another one is the Equal Eyes um, group for Facebook, and that's for people using the Equal Eyes app. That's a really great group where they talk about different struggles they're facing with their vision and different vision exercises and give each other tips and encouragement. So that one's really fun if you're using VR in that way. The Facebook groups can be really fun. You have to be aware of very opinionated people jumping in there and trying to force that on other people. But overall, I think it's a really positive way to connect with others. The last way is something that's just started over at learn.strabismussolutions.com and that's with my confidence with strabismus course. We've been meeting weekly over Zoom and it has been amazing connecting with other people and really hearing their stories and their struggles and working through those challenges together. It's been really fun to actually see people's faces and um, I feel like you know, you can't, we can't necessarily connect in person because we live all over the place, but being able to connect over Zoom has been really, really amazing, um, really taking it to the next level. So if that's something that you're interested in, definitely head over there and you'll see the different options that are available for that. The thing that's great is there's so many different ways to connect with other people who have strabismus and it can change your life. It can help you feel heard. It can help you feel understood help you feel like you're not crazy because sometimes you start thinking there's something wrong with you and you're just over exaggerating or being dramatic and you're not. I promise having strabismus is really challenging and it's a challenge that most people just don't get. So I recommend no matter how you do it, connect to somebody who's going through that same thing because you can share that load and help each other and it is 
So good luck with that. Let me know which groups you are a part of or have found beneficial in your journey, and I will see you in the next video.